I wasn't elected as a state representative to protect a person's desire to become a judge. I was elected to protect the people of Connecticut. We've heard people say that we shouldn't penalize this attorney, we shouldn't punish this attorney, but I look at it differently. We shouldn't p penalize the people of Connecticut who work and pay taxes because we have laws that are unfair. We spent, what, three or four hours today talking about how to protect um, people on unemployment. I think if we stood with any of them and said, hi, we've got somebody who's going to serve maybe three or four years, and they're going to retire at $100,000 a year, and by the way, after that, they can become a trial referee um, or other positions, and then they can get paid per diem. I think if we spoke to any of the people who pay the taxes who are on, on unemployment, their response to us would be, hey, where can I get that kind of a deal? Now, nobody who is standing here is saying that these people aren't qualified and they haven't worked hard and it hasn't been their dream to become a judge. We can understand all that. We've heard that we shouldn't take the fact that our laws are a little odd at the moment, take that out on the nominee. My problem is I don't want to take it out on the people of Connecticut by putting people in place who can't serve a full term before they get a, a very lucrative pension. So I'm not going to be voting in support of this nominee and it has nothing to do with his qualifications because I heard them on judish, very qualified, has a lot to give to the state, but it's not the residents of Connecticut's fault that the governor decided that it was going to be at this late date to appoint them. If they were nominees and had this particular option open to them for years, they maybe should have been appointed years ago. So I can't. I can't go back to my constituents. I can't go back to the people of Connecticut and say that this is a fair thing to do. There are other nominees that are also very, very qualified that can serve out there full term before they are getting a lucrative pension from the people of Connecticut. So I'm going to ask everybody to take a look at this and see whether or not they can really go back to their constituents and say this is a fair way to spend your hard-earned money. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.